you've not heard it anyway i sit down and i craft names based on how i feel about my man when you call him those names even god in heaven there's a way you will praise god there are names you will call god in heaven ah he will come down and answer that's how it is in relationships you know and when you really want to understand what relationship is look at our relationship with god one of the things now that takes me to quality time one of the things the major thing god actually craves with human with man is fellowship hmm? spending quality time together it's not when you wake up in the morning you just do shabara, shabara, shabara. hello no. everyone okay good day my name is amaka sam in case you're just watching me for the first time and um i want to briefly talk about something for the records i'm not a relationship coach but i am a voracious reader as i said and last week i shared something about love relationships marriage i talked about love languages and um a lot of people reached out to me on my whatsapp on facebook they reached out to me concerning um the topic i talked about and they asked me certain questions they they needed answers to certain questions so i i made a promise to make a video but i'll try for this video not to be longer than 10 minutes at most so i want to talk about love languages in detail to the best of my knowledge and before i go ahead if you really want to understand love languages i recommend a book five love languages by gary chapman by gary chapman i'm going to add the title to the the caption of this video so that it will be easy for you. You can download it, you can buy it. I, I have the hard copy. That's where I got this knowledge from. And then practical experiences and all that. It works. Now, love language is the language you speak to your partner through actions to actually make them feel your love for them. It's not um, rocket science. It's not different from the normal language that you know, just like we have the English language, we have the French language and Deutsch and all of that. That's how love language is. It's a language. You speak it the way I'm speaking English language to you now. And the way you speak your native dialect is the way you speak love to your partner. Now, when you fail to speak or show this affection or this love to your partner in their love language, they will never get the memo. If I woke up to you and I say, Ich liebe dir, I just spoke Deutsch. This is German language. And I said, Ich, ich liebe dir, it means I love you in Deutsch. Now, no matter how much I love you, as long as I'm saying it in Deutsch and you do not understand Deutsch, you will never get the memo. You will never understand that what I'm actually saying is I love you. And then you're there like, I don't think she loves me. Or I don't think he loves me. He doesn't show it. And I'm like, I show it. She just doesn't understand. I don't know what she wants me to. And it's causing frustration. <laughs> and people tend to say, how do I know when my partner loves me? Or how do I show love to my partner? So how do you tell me that you love me? How do you show me that you love me? Even without saying it. Okay. Let me give you an example. Have you ever um, been in a situation where somebody's wooing you or someone is very much interested in you but hasn't said it yet? But you can tell that they love you. You can tell. How do you know? Because there's, there, there's something they are doing in their actions that makes you know that this person is, <laughs> this person is really, really serious about me. This person loves me. Mm? And then, no matter how much someone professes love to you, if, if they're not showing it in actions, you will tell that these are mere words. They don't hold water. You know that it's not original for according to you, but people will tell you it's not. It doesn't hold water because there are no legit actions to back it up. Now, there are five major love languages. We have words of affirmation. Someone actually asked me on WhatsApp, if words of affirmation is actually a love language yes mm. yes sir it is a love language you see that your baby that your honey that girl you love so much you better be spoiling her with nice words words of affirmation quality time we have um acts of service i'm going to explain all of them 
we have receiving gifts and we have physical touch now let me start from physical touch because a lot of people are mis misunderstanding it there's a misconception and then they, they think once you say your love language is physical touch you always want to have sex but that's not it you can cuddle okay you can just stay with your partner and just hold hands you can hold hands you can cuddle you can just sit close to each other yes it's it's there are people like me it's one of my love languages there are people who feel loved that way physical touch mustn't end in sex it can lead to sex sometimes but it shouldn't always end in sex because this is the problem that most married people have a few of the married people who reached out to me they said that women especially they say that because women women are women are moved by what we feel and what we hear men are moved by what they see so some women who want to be touched by their husband complain that when they just want to be cuddled or just want to be held before you know a guy wants to play match you know and that takes away that innocence of the the, the the innocence of that touch it takes it away it makes it look like he's not really interested in making me feel loved he just wants to you know play match you know so i urge men to learn to touch their women without actually sleeping with them yes you can do that it's possible it's not every time you'll be in the mood i'll be coming down sometimes just touch your woman touch your wife let her feel loved look into her eyes hold her tell her everything will be fine and all that now for words of affirmation words of affirmation i is, is a very strong love language for women especially yes and for men too for women to make us feel loved to make us feel secure to make us feel that uh, we are your one and only you know and then for men to to massage their ego so you know when you start saying certain things to your husband when you say certain things to maybe when he's down and you start praising him you start reminding him of the times he was able to pull things on and he was able to conquer it's it's it massages his ego that's what words of affirmation can do and then even if um it's not when you're in you're in trouble or when you're having issues you can just look at your woman and call up sweet names names not normal baby my love no sit down and think out names formulate names like me <laughs> oh my God. if you if you hear the names are formulated for my husband you will you you have not heard it anywhere i bet you you have not heard it anywhere you've not heard it anywhere i sit down and i craft names based on how i feel about my man when you call him those names even god in heaven there's a way you will praise god there are names you will call god in heaven ah he will come down and answer that's how it is in relationships you know and when you really want to understand what relationship is look at our relationship with god one of the things now that takes me to quality time one of the things the major thing god actually craves with human with man is fellowship hmm? spending quality time together it's not when you wake up in the morning you just do shabara, 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 shabara. no spending quality time with god it makes you bond with him that's how it makes you bond with your partner not every time you're running up and down even if it's a distant relationship or a distant marriage you can spend quality time i think i once made a video about spending quality time with your long distant relationship um, partner make a lot of video calls chat a lot tell each other everything in fact your partner should be the first person to know everything that is going on with you it depends on how well you guys have built your trust anyway but it's it's a bonding agent i call it aradite it's the aradite of every relationship when you spend a lot of quality time with your partner man you don't know you have no idea what that can do you can just stay seeing a movie you can just stay cuddling up without necessarily doing anything just <laughs> breathe into each other's nostrils you know it's very sweet <laughs> you can just breathe into each other's nostrils and do all those mushy mushy things you do if you're single get out you know <laughs> it, it, it bonds it's it's really bonding and then another one is acts of service i need to be very fast my time is ticking acts of service doing things for your partner 
things that you know they really need they need help with doing it for them coming through for them in a home you can take out the trash for your partner even if maybe they are meant to do it you just do it for them wash their clothes little little things you mustn't do big things just the little little things if acts of service is your partner's love language they will pick it and they will appreciate it it's not about what you do it's about the heart the intent towards the action to show them that you love them that's what matters do you understand and then and there's one i haven't talked about receiving gifts <laughs> i kept this one last because i don't understand so i asked the question on friday when i started this topic and i was like okay men what's a love language and women what's a love every man physical touch and every woman receiving gifts and i'm like uh uh come on and some people were even direct they said it's cash give me money that's my love language <laughs> As much as I know that this generation we've so trivialized love, eh? We have so trivialized it to become money, 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 money. And it's quite unfortunate that um, it's it's now the reality of the day. It's now what's what's in vogue. If you're not giving me a lot of money, then you don't love me. What if the person doesn't have a lot to give? And the, the funny thing is, some people can have a lot to give. They don't have the heart to give. Also, people don't have a lot to give, but they have, to, they have the heart to give. So you now overlook the intent and look at the quantity. That's where you make a mistake. You overlook the intent behind the action. You don't even know if he truly loves you because he's just giving you the money to get whatever it is he wants to get. It's different from when a man who truly loves you is giving you. It mustn't be money. So receiving gifts, <laughs> like me, it's one of the love languages I love to speak to my man whenever i'm in a relationship i love to give gifts when i love you i have this urge to buy things for you i always want to give you something it doesn't necessarily mean um that i have a lot but i just love you and then you know so that's one major love language now let me cut it um sometimes or most times people's love languages emanate from what they lacked as, as children if you are dating or married to someone who really didn't have their parents around always it's likely that their love language will be quality time because they didn't have it while growing up so um they might need it from you to show that okay to fill that void that space in them that their parents didn't feel some people too how they tell you how they communicate their love language to you they might not know that it's their love language listen they might not know that it is their love language but the way they communicate it to you is by what they do for you maybe your partner's love language is receiving gifts so they find themselves buying gifts for you all the time they find themselves doing things for you showing you affection in a certain way that is what they are demanding from you psychologic they might not know this but this is a psychological thing they are demanding that thing they're asking you to reciprocate it so if you're here and you don't really know okay my partner okay how do i know his love language or how look out for the things that they do for you sometimes that is it they want you to reciprocate it that's what makes them feel loved so because they love you so much and they believe that somebody who loves somebody should do this so they are doing it for you and if you want to show them that you love them, they just expect you to do it back for them. So um, I, I think my time is up. I told you I won't get past 10 minutes. <laughs> Let God help us in this love, marriage, and relationship thing. And I remain a Makassam. Thank you so much for listening to my TED Talk. I really am humbled to have you listen to me. See you next time. Bye.